Welcome back. We're here looking at the markets and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, December 5th, 2022. If you like to support channel, we'll hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button above to see our news videos and we'll stop by looking at Bitcoin or the cryptocurrency market. Then we'll go to the major indices and we'll end by looking at the energy sector. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin and then Ethereum and over the weekend, nothing really has happened here. Every major rally in the past um, few months has been sold into as this market has gone through a major turmoil in 2022. We are what they are referring to as a uh, crypto winter at this current stage as we have been here before. If we just scroll out all the way down to 2018, we can see that we had a similar major rally rally that as, as, as we saw from 20. Uh, 2020 towards 2022 and uh, it usually lasts roughly two years before uh, optimism basically enters this market again because that is basically what market me is missing at this point as uh, most uh, or major um, exchanges are failing or going bankrupt and people are basically losing interest in this market it will most likely continue to fall even further at this current stage, the lows that we have been seeing has been 15,500, give or take, and breaking below that, that could drop this market all the way down to 13k. Every major rally up towards the 50 or the 200 has been sold into, especially the 50. We can see that we are just um, being crushed every time we uh, rally up towards that or above it. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. If we manage to break above uh, Thursday's candlestick, we may head towards the 50 moving average, which is at 18.2K. Breaking below here, that could open the door all the way down to uh, the 13K level. So let's look at Ethereum. Very similar here, has been uh, far more volatile than um, Bitcoin, but still underneath the 50 moving average, all technical indicators are bullish at this current stage. The momentum is to the upside, but we, kind of have to have a full candlestick above the 50 moving average in order to have a go at the 200 as we saw only a few weeks ago. So the lows of or recent lows have been 1057 and the lows back here in, in May was all the way down to 800 and so on. So we have been struggling to rally above the 200 we got very close here broke down to the 50 broke down and also 200 here broke down so it will probably be the similar for this market as it is for bitcoin as it will enter what we call uh, crypto winter and uh, pessimism is really high in this market um, and that will only go away with time so after a uh, quite some time, uh, then optimal missile will most likely enter this market yet again. But technical the others, they are, uh, they are preferring the upside at this point. Breaking above the 50, well, that could open the door all the way up to the 200 moving average or the previous highs here of 1666. So let's look at the indices. We'll start by looking at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ is has also been struggling this year. It went all the way down to 30 minus the uh, uh, minus, minus, uh, 35%, uh, but has rallied quite significantly in the past, uh, past few months. On Friday, uh, it fell more than 2%, 2.23%, and then rallied at the end of the US session. So that was a fairly good indication. However, technical indicators, they are mixed. Stochastic is bearish, the RSI is bearish, and the MACD is bullish at this point. But given the fact that we basically bounce from the 20 simple moving average, that could suggest that we'll have a go at the 200 moving average going forward. Could probably also make the case that we are uh, seeing, um, uh, seeing um, bullish channel forming in this direction 
up towards the 200 moving average. We have seen that before. We saw it recently here before we basically broke down. But we may, in the next few weeks, head towards the 200 moving average before seeing this market tumble. If you look at, uh, for example, um, recent events, we can see that we rallied up towards the 200 moving average here, broke down towards the 50, broke down. And in general, this is a massive downtrend and that we are getting very close to the highest of that trend. Uh, given the case that many things have changed and that we may uh, may have seen already the bottom of this market as the um, uh, as the inflation seems to have peaked and uh, fed is basically talking about uh, decreasing interest rates um, this could basically be uh, beaten the low of the market and that would make sense if you look for example for the weekly chart we saw that we bounced from the 200 moving average in the weekly chart and that historically has been significant we saw it here in 2020 we saw it here in 2018 and we can go way, way back, back in, the, in the past to see that the 200 moving average has been significant if we though get a crossing of the 50 and the 200 then watch out below because that is something that happened back in 2000 in the dot com bubble and a massive warning sign for the market in general but giving the short term if we manage to rally up towards the 200 moving average we basically need to close above that in order to go to go higher but at this current stage looks like we may have some room left to the upside but given the case that we're still in a massive downtrend this could also be where everything turns around so let's look at the S&P 500. It's far more bullish than the Nasdaq. Also here, creating a bullish channel to the upside. We did rally above, rally from the 200 moving average right here, trading at 4,061. And if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat. We can see that the stochastic is bearish and the RSI is also bearish. So we have seen this move before doesn't really mean that we'll continue rallying. We saw this back in, this was in August, when we started then breaking down quite significantly. We saw it also here in the beginning of 2022, and then we broke down quite significantly. So given the case that we are at the top of this channel, then we may see this market start tumbling um, if we get some bad news but we are in December and usually December is a month uh, where we have um, a massive rally you can go back all the way uh, way back in the past then December is basically a really good month for stocks but we are at the top of the channel and it would make sense if we tumble from here if we do if we basically break above this downward uh, channel then this could have been basically the bottom of the market and we'll see a change um, in the stock market in general. So let's look at the Dow Jones. You can see that Dow Jones is really bullish. It basically broke above uh, this uh, top here and is in a really, really nice upward uh, channel. 50 moving average is also racing towards the 200 and a crossing here could be a very good uh, signal for a long term for the Dow Jones. If we look at the technical indicators, however, MACD is bearish, stochastic is flat, and the RSI is also um, flat at this current stage. It is fairly uh, close to being overbought, so we may see a pullback towards the 200 and then continue from there. If you see a move like this, then that is a really good sign. Uh, but the better sign is that we will have a crossing here of the 50 to 200 which uh, uh, signals a long-term uh, trend change. So it is not visible anymore that we are in a downtrend, which is a really good uh, sign. This could basically be in a uh, breakout from this trend and a pullback from here and then continue rallying. It could also be a signal that we have seen the bottom of this market and now it's just going, uh, going to continue going uh, up. So let's look at the European market. It, this is the DAX and also in the DAX, 
we are seeing a market, market that has just been trading sideways for a really, really long time now. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is also bullish, but we are overbought. So at this current stage, it would make sense that we'll have a pullback before going higher. And considering that the 50 moving average is moving this way and the 200 will mostly come this day, a crossing here would signal a very um, bullish time for this market indeed. So even though we've broke down from here, it is most likely that we'll continue going higher if we uh, find support from the 50 and the 200 moving average below. We haven't seen this market being this bullish for quite some time, but we are also running into areas where we have found massive resistance in the past. So the highs here, well, in this area, is something that we have to go through. We did test it twice earlier this year, and then we had a massive breakdown. But this is as bullish and this market has been for quite some time. If we were to break down below the 50, then we may go all the way down back towards the very bottom. But considering that pessimism was really high in um, in this period, as it was uh, not clear whether or not Europe or Germany then um, would have enough energy for for the winter. At this current stage, it looks like they have solved that problem, and therefore markets are basically rallying at this point. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei. It fell quite nasty, uh, aggressively on on Friday, trading at 27.7k. Um, uh, we were in a really nice upward channel. And the question is whether or not we have, we have broken uh, below uh, this channel here. If we manage to break above it again, then we may go back towards this high. But if we scroll out, the Nikkei has been trading within this area for most of 2022. So we have had these really nice channels and then we have breakdowns like this and kind of looks like we're watching the same thing occurring yet again. That will basically start seeing something more like this heading back towards the lows. If we look at technical indicators, we can see that MACD is bearish, stochastic is very bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. And we are also uh, basically in the middle and a lot of room to the downside. To the upside, if we break above the 29K, then we may see significantly high levels, but this has basically been uh, the highs of 2022. So let's look at the VIX um, and it looks like uh, history is repeating itself because we had a really nice downtrend for uh, quite some time. Saw the bottom of 19.88 and we are getting very close to that bottom yet again. So we are also having a nice uh, channel, downward channel. And the question is whether or not we get towards these lows. We're trading at 21.2 uh, uh, at this current stage and not a not a room to the downside before we get to these levels where we started rallying as we saw here if that is the case if we start rallying then the markets will most likely tumble as there's a negative correlation between the vix and stock or indices so the lows and highs have been roughly 33.5 and the lows give or take 19 20 and so on so getting towards these 20s start here rallies 20s here rally 20s rallies and so on and so on so if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is also bearish stochastic is bearish and the rsi is oversold at this current stage so let's look at the 10 year 10 year is also continuing falling but um we are getting to a level where it is uh, significantly oversold. So we have a downward channel, but looking at the RSI is at the 20, uh, well, it's at 31 at this current day, so it's not oversold. MACD is uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, but this is a very low level. And last time we were there was over here when we hit the bottom. And after that, we had a massive rally to the upside. So the question is, if Fed is going to continue uh, 
increasing interest rates, then we'll see this. But they will probably not increase it with uh, 75 basis points, probably 50s, and then later on in 2023 with 25s. But rates will most likely continue as inflation is still very, very high. So bottom here will mostly be 3.2, which is 200 moving average. And if we break above the 50, then we'll most likely go back towards the very highs. So let's look at the energy market. We'll start by looking at natural gas. Natural gas had a really bad day on Friday, down 7.66%. And at this current stage, it looks like we have are about to break below uh, this channel here. We did break below the 50 to 200 moving average. Um, if you look at the lows, let's, let's take, take uh, 4.8. It's also where we find massive uh, uh, support here. So we may see this market drop towards uh, the lows. Um, considering that we're entering the, into the winter months, we may see this market also um, start rallying. But the rally that we saw here was basically based on um, Europe being really, really depending on uh, liquefied gas from the United States, which they most likely will be, but not uh, to the extent that it was expected as they are going to buy from the Middle East. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the CASIC is bearish, and the RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is definitely changing to the downside and wouldn't be surprised if we go significantly lower. So let's look at uh, oil, WTI oil. So there has been put a price cap on Russian oil and most of sanctions will mostly come into effect um, this week or the coming weeks. And the question is whether or not uh, Russia will retaliate or how they will um, and how that will affect this market. So this will probably be a very volatile market um, next week or the coming weeks. Um, at, this point, at this point, we have found massive um, resistance at the 83.25. It looks like we are going to head back towards the, the lows here of roughly $73 a barrel. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. And uh, how this market has been behaved recently, 15 off has offered resistance, 200, 200, and then 50 yet again, also resistant. So, both of these um, booming averages have offered massive resistance and we're still in a fairly um, downtrend for for oil and also in natural gas as um, world economy will most likely um, start to slow down and some demand for oil will be significantly less. So hope you found this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and bell on the CR news videos and please do your own due diligence before trading in the market. Good luck and thank you very much.